Why are you looking for an emotional response to your message? Do we really have to go there? Now hang with me because there's a really good reason why we need to identify how you want your audience to feel about your message. If you work in a corporate leadership role, you've likely experienced emotional aversion. It's not cool to bring emotions into a professional environment. Sometimes it's even perceived as a sign of weakness. But the fact is, our brains need more than information. They also need emotional input to make sound decisions and to learn new behaviors. Leave out the emotions and you have decision paralysis and messages that no one does anything about. That's why it's so important for you to think about how you want your audience to feel about your message. If you're inviting your team to a brainstorming session, how do you want them to respond? Oh, another collaborative session, whatever that means. Or, wow, they really value my point of view. Emotions are an important piece in designing a message that has that kind of impact. Stories are a natural delivery method for helping your listeners tap into the emotional response you're hoping for.